Okay, let's play this. That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey? Austria. Austria? <laughs> well then, <laughs> good day, mate. That's a lovely accent. Nice, there's some good stuff in there. The accent you have. New Jersey? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I like this a lot. This section here. New Jersey? How that head goes down. New Jersey? It has that little... That little moment through there. I think you can push that a bit more. There's a weird... It's as if there's a pivot point right there. If you put a needle around here-ish, the head kind of pivots off at that point. So be careful with how much you counter this with this rotation while the body goes forward. It's a, I would lessen one of these probably. New Jersey? You probably lessen this guy a little bit. And I would push that arc on the head up a bit more. If you track the nose, um, you have a bit of a... Hold on, let me do a frame by frame thing here. If you track the nose, this is going to be super boring to watch. But... Just so I don't talk out of my behind, just felt very, very straight. All right, what's doing here? Okay. So now if you go back, <coughs> see, you can see that that line there that the nose is doing here. So it's basically doing almost like this. There's a bit of a curve through here, but then it gets very much into a very angular and linear path <coughs> as opposed to New Jersey. A little bit down and then over and then settle. So I would do a good pass. Turn this off here. <coughs> a good pass on tracking the nose you know tracking elements of the head just for for arcs um during those those sections those moments here new jersey but anyway i want to go through your email because you got a couple sh uh shots couple uh points here uh take a bit of time i pushed his head acting a bit when he finished saying that's a lovely accent that you have that's a lovely accent you have yeah it's nice that's a lovely accent you have. It's just missing a bit on you have. Lovely accent you have. So it goes up, you have. Hold on, let me do the scrubbing. So it's kind of like you have, have, I will bring it back down a bit. So it's a, a bit. Accent you have. It's like a mustache there. So it's, there's something missing there, like your jaw animation suddenly gone, and that would kind of relax that head a bit. On the half, the tone goes down, the, the voice goes down. I think you can also bring the head down a bit. Not that you always want to mirror that, but I think in this case you could. <clears throat> uh, when he said you have, I moved his head down and made him a little bit flirty. Accent you have. See, I don't quite see that. I don't see how you go down. And I think you can go down, up, and then down with the nose. And at the same time, lean over. So it's a bit of a more of a tilt, kind of leaning towards the character. I think that would be totally fine. So I would push that more. Um, I also pushed the head action when he said New Jersey. New Jersey? Yes, absolutely. So that's the stuff that I was reacting to that I thought was really, really cool. Um, and leaned his body a bit more. New Jersey. Yep, yep, yep. Hold on, let me just turn the scrubbing off. But then you got, then it's the tricky thing is you're back into, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still coughing. Um, fairly linear moves, even though here it's a bit wobbly where you have a bit of, this going on and then you get into the trouble of I would give this a bit of an under arc like that like a sideways arc into this just because there are those moments where you get to this point where it's just kind of like a short arc if you do a squinty test or push seven without lights in Maya and just get uh, an outline black and white it just feels like a stump with just a box like the silhouette gets kind of messed up you don't see the bend of the elbow anymore Whereas this is good, and this is better. So that's a bit of a... I think you can get a bit of more an arc in there and kind of help that linear move, and it might also help with seeing part of that... Um, what's it called? For, uh, forearm. So there might be just enough forearm before the, uh, <clears throat> the fist happens there. Let's see. <clears throat> when he moved his right hand down, I played with the timing to make it look like it is connected to the body motion. I'm assuming you're talking about this one right there. New Jersey? 
Yeah, I think to me it's just the path. I think it definitely feels more connected. So I would say yes, good job with that. Careful, if you screw up fast, you can see how there's a there's a bit of a, a drift move here in that hand. That's a lovely accent you have. And it's worse when you play in real time because it kind of just slowly drifts over there. New Jersey. <clears throat> now, the cool thing is, as you do this, as he leans forward, and you got that move down, chest forward, what you could do is, since that elbow goes up, you can bring actually <clears throat> the wrist back this way a bit with potentially locking the fingers in there. So it's kind of the wrist slides while the fingers are are like 90% locked in the tip area. So there's still pressure here, but there's a bit of an adjustment in the wrist. Because that still feels fairly cut where you got all that movement, but then it's an IK hand and then the hand is, is it's totally separate. You can see all this, all that elbow movement and the wrist not really reacting to it. <clears throat> Let's see. Also, at the end, I rotated his chest and body when he says, Good day, mate. Austria. Oh, before I do this, watch out. You get a bit of a drift through there. That whole move through here, how there's that whole body section goes to the right. Austria. And I think I would do... New Jersey. New Jersey, and I would have a bit of a hole, a moving hole this way with an ever so slight coming back. But to me, it seems like he goes towards the subject, and you want to do a hole towards that. Like he's trying to get there, get there, get there, get there. Austria. And then Austria. Then he goes back, and that's that moment that brings him back with the move. Austria. Austria. That seems better with his arm. You got chest reaction in there. That's great. Austria. That's a bit more reaction there, which is great too. It just feels like you're ostrous too soon. Hold on, let me just bring back the scrubbing. See that? Oh, it's like he's breathing, gasping for air. So is that kind of like, a, oh, Austria? Just right now, because how big this is, it doesn't feel like an exhale or a reaction. This feels like a, a way too early moment for ostrous. Like you're saying, Austria, you know, I'm asking, you know, and you're only listening. Like you can't respond. I always say this. I'm so, so silly. Austria. Yeah. So that seems pretty off timing wise. Austria. <laughs> That's better. Austria. <laughs> Careful. You still have a bit of a drift of that hand going this way. Austria. So you're that you can scrub and you can see how that arm, that hand slowly goes back. This, unfortunately, still has a bit of a disconnected feel. There are a couple of things where it just seems like such a big move. I, I'm not quite feeling it through here. Sorry if I harp on this, but there's just that. And I think what you could do is, it's interesting that he leads with the chest first. You might be able to cut that in half and then save the rest of it when this happens. So when this move happens, you have a bit more involvement in the chest. And then what I would do is I would counter the head. So it's a bit more pointed this way. Because right now, as you do this, <clears throat> it has that feeling of chest and head are locked. They're not super locked, but it still has a slight feel to that. And I think if you delay the head turn this way, keep looking this way, it's going to feel a bit better. And then careful. I know this ha this arm goes down first, but then it has this, this section that feels weird where this goes up. Whoop. And this goes down. I'm not, not saying it's at the same time or the same amount, but in, in when you watch this in real time, <laughs> well, it just has a, <clears throat> a bit of a weird connected feel where you could probably. <laughs> well, I would either. I like that it's separate. You can either go sooner. Austria. <laughs> so it's kind of like haha, and it's it's maybe a, as a reaction to the laugh, like it's part of the laugh, or you hold on to it longer. And then only by now, so the hand would still be up here, and then only then you start bringing it down, well, then. which you totally could. But this here, well, <laughs> this feels really nice. Well, <laughs> I think there's a great, great weight to it. How how the body reacts to the chair and stops moving. How this swings down, well, doing. <laughs> it's a bit fast on your settle. This. And this, meaning this move and then the move back. Beep, beep, right there, that's a bit fast. I think you can loosen that up a bit and give it more time. 
Yeah, I suppose they're a bit, a bit accelerated there. Um, well done. But especially how this reacts, the other arm. So that moment is, is pretty great. I think you can afford... Well done. You can afford a bit of an arc on the head. Look at the chin. The chin is pretty straight here. Let's go back to this mode. You can see how that chin follows a pretty straight line. So if you go back and you lean back, there might be a bit of a boom. Just as the body hits this, there could be a bit of a dip in the chin. That the head rotates down a bit more for that, just for that section. <laughs> Good day, mate. <clears throat> and then, hold on. So I am only getting to what you're you're writing here. Also, at the end, I rotated his chest and body when he says "Good day, mate." <laughs> Good day, mate. Not too bad. There's something where this move of the chest and this head both going this way. A bit too connected there. And it's mainly to me how I would delay this section a bit. Like have the head lead. And then because of that, then it starts taking the chest with it. Good day. Same when you go back. See, they kind of return at the same time. So it's kind of offsetting. I would lead with the head more. And delay the chest by maybe three or four frames. <laughs> Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Um, but then the tricky thing is that it seems a bit simple in terms of rotation, where the head, that axis, just kind of rotates over, pivots over this way, stops, and it just kind of comes back halfway, and then has like a one-axis down move, which just feels it feels very simple. And I think you want to take the awesomeness of this. Like, again, push the arc a bit more, but the feeling of this, like, you're pretty close on that. <clears throat> and it's a big difference. It's, it's really neat. And take that awesomeness and put that in here. So it doesn't feel so simple in terms of over and then kind of back in the same path and then kind of down. Uh, and let's see here. I'm really struggling with the hands. I tried to make them look good, but I haven't finished them yet. But I like to show you the progress. Totally fine. I think they're definitely better. That's a lovely accent you have. And don't forget that when you say... That's a lovely accent you have. Lovely accent you have. Um, so go back and see my hand here. Where's my hand? So it's a lovely accent you have. It's a lovely accent you have. It's a lovely accent you have. You know, there's something where... Like a bit of a... Not that you want to do... That's a lovely accent you have. You don't want to do like all crazy finger stuff. But there's still a moment of... That's a lovely accent you have. Like on your half, you can have a bit of a, a clenching on the face, a little bring back of the arm, a little bit of rotation in the wrist. I think there's still some flourish that you can bring in uh, in this section. That's a lovely accent you have. So I think as a whole, it's much better. I would just, like I said before, I would take the awesomeness of this and push it. Go further, really track your arcs and look at extremities like the chin. Not that's an extremity, but the chin and the nose. And really look at those arcs and push those. Push that frame by frame. And then take that feeling of the little flourishes and those accents. The little, little small movements you have. And bring those into hand gestures for, again, a bit more pushing of the, the subtleties. Um, so you get away from just simple moments like this here. Where you got that, that's cool. And then it kind of stops, and there's nothing going on. But even when you stop, there's no real change in the fingers. Even if you would stop, the fingers could go and then kind of come in, maybe react and overshoot a bit, or just come in for, for a different pose. So that is just a bit too simple. Just like uh, moves like that without an arc. And I know you just, you're still working on the fingers. So as you continue, as that hand comes down, I like that you have a bit of a compression there. Like that there's more... Bit more of a, a tense moment. Not that he's tense, but it's there is. You can go both ways. I mean, he he leans on this, which to me, like he puts more weight on that arm, which I think your tensing of the fingers going in is good. It's not like he's resting on the wrist, which means that this would push down and it would spread out the fingers. So I think that is good. So stuff like that, you just want to continue putting it in there. So I hate to say this, but. It's one of those keep going things where the revisions you put in are good, but you need to put more of that in there. Like you're 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 getting there. Uh, there's definitely improvements. Some areas are still a bit a bit rough, 
but overall I see it's going up, it's getting better. But imagine do one or two more passes on that. Just keep pushing. Just take it in chunks, you know, where you can let me just minimize that a bit so you can see my counter here. But you know, imagine you go from here to here, right? Just this section where you can just look at that head move. Or you can just go in terms of just this gesture. It doesn't have to be specific uh, frame count. It could just be I'm working just on this gesture. Or now I'm going to work just on this. Just that drop here. Always kind of looking how if I work on this, how is that going to affect the chest, of course, that relationship. But I will go in chunks and then really just push it and push it and try to go as far as you can. Um, and then again, think about the easy ins and outs, the arcs. How is that move? potentially more than just a move how is that that you know going back to this here how is that moment with his finger more than just a move like how can you add flirtatious like you're saying that he wants to be flirty how can you do something where it's a bit more playful or flirty or whatever you want to bring you know character wise with that with that acting through that like you want to bring that that um the emotional states, just the, the flirtiness. Like, I like that you pointed that out that, that at this point, that's what the character wants to do. Can you show this with the gesture? What's the timing? What's the arc on the hand and the fingers and the finger pose changes? How can you push that that flirty aspect um, during those moments? So, you know, and you can put this where flirty here, surprised here, amused here, you know, trying to impress. You can have sections where you say, well, this is the part where it's this, and this section is this. And what can I do in terms of the movements to emphasize that moment? I hope that makes sense. So again, I think it's great progress, but unfortunately it's, it's one of those things where it's easy for me to say, keep going and you have to do all the work, but it is really keep going. It's it's a it's a great up, update, but imagine you go, I don't know if you eat, you know, uh, bread with butter or some other spread. It's like you got one spread on there, but it's a bit thin. Do another one or two spreads on there to get a bit of a thicker layer on there to get that really awesome taste of animation on there. I hope that makes sense. Um, and if not, email me. But that's what I have, all right? I will concentrate on that. And once we're in that really good zone of the body, the arcs and everything, we can take a closer look at the uh, facial stuff and the lip sync, all right? Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.